love that food trucks can go wherever they're needed. And today we're at the Ridge Social Drinkery with QC Fork in the Road, and I'm ready to dive into some real tasty food. Bo, I went ahead and I demolished all of those pickles. <laughs> they're very, they're so good. I mean, just, I love, it's like got that perfect amount of crisp. I love that. Uh, we, we got a couple of other items here in front of us, including, what do we got here? Is this the meatloaf? the meatloaf? This is the meatloaf you were talking about. Is the I'm glad you saved a little bit, a little bit for me at least. Tell me what we got going on here. So, Whoa. you know, kind of take that classic flavors of that meatloaf. You got the onions and the garlic and all those flavors in there. Jazz it up so it's not quite your grandma's meatloaf there, but get that nice sear of the barbecue and then those fresh, crisp onion straws. Mm. It's got that same breading on there that we do for those pickles. So, mm. I love onion straws. I love that little bit of crunch, mm -hmm. a little bit of onion. Tell me a little bit about your sauce. What's, what do you got going on here? So the barbecue sauce is kind of got that brown sugar uh, honey glaze to it, and then just a little bit of spice added in there. So Ooh. it's not too sweet, but doesn't have that spice kick to it. Kind of just plays very well with all the flavors that are going to go in there. You were talking about comfort food before. I mean, meatloaf sandwich is a pretty classic comfort food, mm -hmm. but I feel like you're going beyond that, man. It's 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 been plussed up quite a bit. Yep, yep, like I said, we make it where it's not quite your mom's meatloaf, but you know, take it to that next level so it has that little bit of extra kick to it that you want to come back to it. It's not what you're expecting coming out of a food truck, basically. What is it about cooking food and being like in the food service that, what's really drawn you in? You know, I've just always been in this, you know, 25 years of doing this. It's kind of been a passion. It's a, a labor of love and you know, it's not always about anything but that, so. Mm -hmm. Um, you get to kind of touch people one person at a time and you know, you always remember that meal. You can go to that wedding and remember that, but you're going to remember that food. So, right. you know, we're trying to just have that memory for people along with everything else. Having people, I mean, what I love is like the idea of being the best part of somebody's week, mm -hmm. the best part of somebody's month. And sometimes, yeah, you know, word is like, that's the best meal I've had all year. Yeah. This is a fantastic sandwich. Well, I appreciate it. It is, it's juicy, it has, yeah, it's that classic meatloaf, it's, you know, it's, you know, we're not going crazy, but it's juicy and it's tasty. But when you add that barbecue sauce, when you're adding those onion straws, it is taking it over the yeah. top to making it a fantastic, fantastic dish. Absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna dive into your fries. I saw you hard work and you're getting your fries ready for tonight's uh, yep. food truck service here at the Ridge. Tell me what you got going on here. So all the fries are hand cut. Uh, they get that blanch time in there. They, they sit, they get the soak, get those starches out of there, and then they're a double fry on them. So you know, they get that lower temperatures, kind of pull more of those starches out, and then mm -hmm. throw them back down and get that crisp to them. It's got a wonderful crisp. I love, the, it's it's not just your classic salt on here as well. I mean, yep. you're going a little bit yep. extra on your here on your salt. Yep, we got a little extra flavors going on in there. You know, salt, pepper, there's a little bit of garlic going on in there. Just enough to give it that little extra. And your oomph, a little yep. oomph, a little extra. But not over the top that you're like, yeah, wait a minute. No, no, this is wonderful. It's got a good crisp to it. A crisp for being, like, this is a pretty thick cut fry. Yeah. This is not a shoestring fry. You're not going like extra super thin, but the crisp is still there. It's yeah. got a wonderful crunch you to it. You can still taste that potato in it too though. Mm. Fantastic. And then what do we got here? That is the buffalo chicken wrap. Your buffalo chicken wrap. This yes. I've, I've heard wonders about this as well. Yep, this is another one of those fan favorites. It is crispy chicken, uh, and then it's in a spicy buffalo uh, mix. It's got a little bit of that butteriness to it. Mm -hmm. Um, then we do a nice cheese blend in there, and instead of blue cheese, we do a ranch. Kind of a little more family friendly there. Mm. But all the flavors kind of blend well. This is saucy. It's yeah. saucy, man. Fantastic. So, when you're coming up with your menu, what are you thinking about? As far as what you, what's missing or, or, or what? Yep, it's kind of the trial and error to start off. You know, spend the winter time trying new things. You get a lot of family involvement at that point. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what's it missing, what's it need, how else can, are people gonna like this, mm -hmm. so. Right. 
Well, clearly, people like it. I mean, because you're busy, we right? We are busy, yes. Uh, tell me a little, I mean, because you're going, you're making the rounds quite a bit. We are making the rounds. We, we have a pretty full schedule anymore, and we're actually booking, we've been booked for a couple different weddings. We've done graduations. We have a baby shower coming up. Like, so we're, we're a little of everywhere. A little bit of everywhere. And when people are hunting you down, what's the best place to find us? Best it? place to find us is on Facebook. You know, QC Fork in the Road on Facebook there. Uh, you can get a hold of us on there. We're pretty punctual on those, but we also post our schedules out so mm -hmm. everybody knows where we're going to be for the week. Fantastic. Because you're going to want to hunt down this buffalo chicken wrap because you're right. I love that you went ahead and you put that breading on. It's breaded. It's got that. So the sauce has a place to go. Mm -hmm. It's just not loosey-goosey yeah. throughout the wrap. It has somewhere to soak in, be absorbed, but it's very, very, very good. Ooh, it's got spice, it's got kick. Your pickle chips, it's got spice, it's got kick, but full of flavor. And this very well might be the best meatloaf sandwich I've ever had in my life. Fantastic, you know, from QC Eats to QC Fork in the Road. I appreciate everything that you're doing, man. Woo. Thanks, man. Thank Thanks you. for having us in.